Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're going to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Aries and Libra on Mondays. So the deck that I'm using today is called the Spirit Within Tarot. And, as always, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, the link is in the description below. So, I do just want to give you guys a heads up that sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them. However, I usually only take cards that jump out like these ones have. And, usually if they jump out in groups that are too big, I'll go ahead and put them back and continue shuffling. So, my goal here is to get you guys roughly 8 or 9 cards. And then we can get started on your reading. So I'm just going to keep trying to pull two more cards for you guys and then we can get started. All right, Libra. So I do just want to remind you guys that in case you enjoy, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment, but your overall energy here is the Page of Pentacles, which is actually a really nice energy to have because the Page of Pentacles talks about stability, right? It's a message that brings with it some stability, so I think that that's very welcomed for a lot of you guys. I'm seeing perhaps some new job opportunity or maybe even some kind of just possibly for some of you guys some side hustles something that'll make you a little bit more money on the side perhaps somebody is giving you a gift of some money and I think that right now that'll just help it'll just go a long way to help you you know feel a little bit more comfortable with your situation and it's just like a nice little pick me up kind of a message that's coming in here so I see the star card here as well as the Ten of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords to me is a very painful, dramatic card, right? You can see just from the symbolism that this person is being stabbed in 10 different places in the back, right? And it's, I think, very reminiscent of, for some, like I'm getting the an allusion to Julius, the tragedy of Julius Caesar, right? So... I think it's not so much even the fact that you are betrayed. I think it's who you're being betrayed by. So be careful who you're trusting in this next little cycle. Because I believe that you guys are entering a cycle where you are going to have to contend with a lot of jealousy. And a lot of like on looking eyes. Because I see the star card. And the star card to me represents you know, dreams and wishful thinking and fantasies. So I think that for a lot of you guys, you're having really big dreams and that's kind of scaring people around you, right? I said something very similar in last week's Sagittarius reading, but basically don't feel like you have to dim your own light so that other people don't have to be uncomfortable in your presence, right? So everybody has the right to shine as brightly as they want and you know, you shouldn't have to promote complacency because other people are too afraid to make themselves bright, right? And it's that very same brightness that's going to help other people find their own way as well. So whatever it is that your pipe dream is, that your idea that you want to do, your business that you want to start, like, obviously you need some help. You can't do literally everything by yourself. But what I'm telling you here is that you need to be a little bit careful who you trust and who you go to help for. Because I think that there's going to be a lot of people that try to sort of stifle you in certain ways. Like they'll say, no, it's too hard. No, it's unrealistic. No, when in reality, it's not like that at all. So be careful of surrounding yourself with negativity. Secondly here, we have the Hermit card with the Devil card. So I do just... Actually, I'm going to take this moment to... Talk about the signs here because we have the star, the hermit, the death, and the moon, which represent Aquarius, Virgo, Scorpio, and Pisces all respectively. So for some of you guys, those signs might be important in your upcoming 
chapter and tribulations. But for some of you guys, you might not know any people with those placements. That's okay. But if you do, just take that to be extra uh, confirmation that this reading is for you. Either way, here with the Hermit card, you guys are entering a period of, I want to say solace, but also isolation, right? So you guys are um, really spending some time by yourself thinking about the things that you want to do, how you want to do them, what you want to achieve, the things in your life that you need to cut out, right? And coincidentally, you have the death card here, which is going to help you do just that. Because I think that right now in your life, there's certain things, perhaps, that you are not the healthiest, right? We all have some unhealthy habits, um, either health-wise or mental health-wise or whatever. But I think that for some of you guys, my advice here is don't let yourself get caught up in your sort of everyday, day-to-day -day kind of a thing, right? Because like, let's say you're trying to lose weight or trying to quit smoking or whatever. And those are things that can really eat up your time and really eat up a lot of your mental power, right? But what I'm here to tell you is that don't lose sight of your dream, right? Don't lose sight of what it is that you want and get lost in the sort of day-to-day. -day. Uh, and I also see here that you might be dealing... There's sort of like a weird offer going on here, right? And it's separate from this offer stability. I feel like this is just money that's coming in in some way, shape, or form. But then here you have a love of offer. Sorry, an offer of love, right? The fact that I got those two words sort of mixed up and I was speaking backwards, I feel like is the feeling that you're feeling. I feel like is the feeling that you're feeling. In short, this person makes you feel like you have butterflies in your stomach and gets your tongue tied and you can't talk, right? And if it's not you, then it's the other person. And if it's not the other person, then it's both of you. So basically what I'm getting at here is that the love is here and there's an offer coming in. It's just there's this tiny little problem and it's this page of swords in reverse, right? This is also a message, but it's also... Uh, it, a message that has tied with it immaturity. Whenever I see the page, I know that the page isn't nearly as mature as let's say a king or a queen. So they already have that point against them. But when they're in reverse, I know that their immaturity is basically multiplied. So be careful of somebody who is somebody who pretends to know and speak in only facts somebody who is condescending when it comes to emotions, right? And be careful of becoming this person as well because the Page of Swords is tied to the air element, which you guys are, right? The King and Queen of Swords represent Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I don't have to tell you guys that you guys are Libras. And there's sort of this possibility here where somebody is forsaking emotions, especially since it's tied to this Page of Cups. And... You know, again, I'm here to tell you that um, it's okay to have emotions. It's okay. That's perfectly valid. And it's perfectly okay to really explore your own emotions and not sort of try to analyze them away, right? I know it can be very difficult, uh, especially if you have like an air moon, to really experience your emotions in a way that's more experiencing and not and less analyzed, right? Especially since you're in this hermit mode, it feels like there's a lot of like being solitary, right? That feels like a big theme here. We have this person on the mountain in the hermit card. We have this person in the star card by themselves. We have these wolves, which are, well, a wolf and a dog, which are, right, like wolves, lone wolf and stuff. So I feel like you guys are spending a lot of times by yourself. And if you're not physically by yourself, then you're mentally by yourself. So don't be afraid to let other people in because I feel like even though I talked about um, somebody who you might not want to trust 100%, like this is, this isn't everyone in your life. It may be multiple people, but it's not everyone in your life. You have these people here who are the King of Cups, right? And the King of Cups is a water sign representative. So that's uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So I feel like people that have a heavy uh, traits like these, you know, who this is kind of like the father figure who's in touch with his emotions and who's able to give you the advice that you need when you need it most. 
you know, look towards this person who you can really trust. And I feel like something is going to be revealed to you through their words here with the moon card. Um, the moon card represents things that are being made clear to you. So I feel like by talking to people, you're going to have that clarity come in. But I do want to just, just because I know that this is, I don't want anyone to get hurt. The moon card can also represent things that you don't know about this person. So basically what I'm saying here is don't be paranoid, but don't trust blindly, right? And I know those are very conflicting messages, but I feel like if anyone can take those ideas and run with them together, it's going to be you, Libra, that can balance those two ideas. So take everything that everyone says with a grain of salt and follow your dreams. That's my advice for this reading. And I hope that you guys will take that to heart and really, and really just find your happiness. But that was your reading first time around, Libra. If you enjoyed, I hope that you guys leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Libra videos on Mondays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for next reading.